Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video, we will be modeling an extension spring. Let's open a new part and build it step by step together. First, I would like to create a sketch on font plane. Then I pick a line, I drop it randomly on my screen. And control is pressed, line selected, and origin selected, and I say midpoint. Now we will convert this to a construction geometry and we will give a length which will be 40. Later I start with a line from here, continue the list weight and I do not click my mouse, I come to my point pack and program gives me automatically an arc. If you do not want to uh, follow the same thing, you should select from here a three point arc and create an arc like this control pressed and we make this two object tangent so to make it fully constrained I added here one another line and convert it to a construction geometry so this is basically our main sketch and then I will go to mirror these two objects selected this line selected and operation about done I select this line I select my center line if you use a center line with a normal object you will be able to get a diametral dimension which I have here then we will give a dimension here which will be 7 and here I have a dimension to this point which will be in diameter from 0.5 operation uh, is uh, done and we can close our sketch select sketch surfaces revolve surface so this will ask me an axis of revolution and I will select this one and we have something like this it's looking like a palette we go front plane again we open the sketch and if you enter, you click the space bar, you will look normal too. Later I place here a sketch, a line, and I close the sketch. So I have a second sketch. Now I will create a third one. Another sketch will be created on the same plane, but we will have a different sketch. So sketch 2, sketch 3, I select sketch uh, 3 and I go surfaces, swap surface. Then I select this line, options, profile twist, specify the twist value, twist control will be revolutions and I will here say 40. So we have 40 revolution in fact we create an helix with this way so we have two set of surfaces one that bullet form and one helix so what we're gonna do is now we convert them to an intersection curve this curve will be a combination of these two objects so normally it is very difficult to create such an helix in uh, our helix command but with the help of surfaces, we are able to create such an object. Till now, the all commands that I have used and all operation was able to get this nice curve. Now we can go to real operation. We click on plane and we create the sketch. And then I pick a circle and I drop it to this point. You will remember length was 40 and I made 40. Uh, time revolution so that means diameter should be equal to one but because of helix will not allow us to work with zero thicknesses i create a diameter something like this so it's a nice trick at the end it is one millimeter but we now a little bit cheat the program because with one millimeter in this area especially it will give an error so we have to read the sketch we have our diameter so now we can 
finish our operation features swap this will be profile this is the way pad let's say it's a better statement and we get preview that means it is working now what we're gonna do is add the hooks front plane which I select front plane and then we look normal to we can hide solid body for a while and we can work with this revolve front plane open we select and create a sketch so I always do place a construction geometry it is very convenient to have these guys you will have always benefit of them and I create two line here let's create an uh, arc okay so I create an extension this will be a construction geometry we made it horizontal so now control is pressed this to object tangent I pick a line I drop here again I press control I make this two tangent so we got something like this let's give some dimension from here to here I will have a 5 millimeter here we have radius 2 here we have length of 2 here we have a 35 degree here we have a 30 degree and let's go from here five more inside for now fighting now I will give a radius let's say three yes this operation also done at the end we get such a profile it is easy to handle lighting what you should have make you sh make sure that you have a, a construction geometry that will easily constrain your sketch you don't need to assign all kind of relationships and uh, you should also see that I'm always working with fully defined sketches this is very important if you want to create neat documentation neat drawings you should do that guys I select my right plane I go to reference geometry and according to that plane automatically program thinks that it should be offset but I will say no do not offset it I just ask program to drop it to a specific point that I like which is this point and I create here a sketch and I will create here one circle and give a diameter of one this is also good now we will make swap we will select this two object operation is done let's make one more thing normally to keep these hooks on the position you will have here it's such a uh, object we create here a sketch and in a half circle in fact and then let's give a diameter let's say you have 1.5 okay this is good and we go to revolve ball space select this axis merge result active it is done now we have two bodies yes and now we will select white plane we go mirror bodies mirror and this guy yes it is done guys we can change display state which you can see a nice view here we have some openings but it is fine for the sake of proving normally you would expect here the distance equal there is a way to deal with that but i will not bother with that now anyway thanks for watching if you like my video hit the like button please make a comment see you in another video